the first week end of the season did not go the way Coach Craig Simchuk and Kevin Kerr desired. Last Friday night here in Birmingham against Huntsville, there was a great hockey game going on and the game tied at one turned on a very late and questionable call at best when tripping was called on Chase Carter. That resulting power play for Huntsville resulted in the goal and the game winner with less than two minutes left, Huntsville took a 2-1 lead. The following night, the Bulls took one on the road in Pensacola, lost that one as well. But last night, the Bulls endured what seemed to be a, from Knoxville, a game plan of taking out as many Birmingham players off the ice as they could. Birmingham behind a pair of goals by Keyshawn Gervais shut out the Ice Bears on their home ice in Knoxville and will try and even our record tonight at two and two as now they get that same Knoxville team back here on home ice. A very rough third period of play last night in Knoxville. Very rough third period of play. Resulted in suspensions, game misconducts, fighting majors. This one could get interesting tonight. I hope it doesn't. I definitely do not want a repeat of last night. I don't want to call anybody's character into question, but Birmingham is definitely not that type of hockey team that Knoxville tried to draw us into last night. Not surprising, Knoxville is still winless on the season. They're 0-3. Last night, they had more penalty minutes than they, did, than they did shots on goal. Just based on that alone, they scored three goals in three games. This is a team made to do something. Scoring goals and win games is not one of them. You can do the math yourself and figure out what I'm trying to say. Once again, I'm Jody Cherneski. I'm flying solo tonight as Greg Dreveny is coaching the University of Alabama hockey team in Nashville as they have a pair of games on tap for last night and tonight. Starting lineups first for the visiting Knoxville Ice Bears. Defensively, they'll go with Seth Enzer along with Gregory Felder up front, Jordan Stallard, Rex Moe, and Colton Fletcher. For Birmingham defensively, Dylan Peters will start alongside Taylor Briarly up front. Scott Donahue, Dylan Johnson, and Matt Wiesner. In goal for both teams first for the Knoxville Ice Bears. Zane Steves brings a goals against average of 2.44 and a save percentage of 9.33. He came in in relief last night of Kristen Stead, who the Bulls blasted with four goals. Steves gave up one late to Dylan Johnson in the fifth for the Birmingham Bull 5-0 win last night in Knoxville for Birmingham. In goal will be Hayden Stewart. He's appeared in all three Birmingham games thus far and will get the start again tonight. An excellent goals against average, 1.67 for Hayden Stewart and a save percentage of 9-2-9. We'll pause for a brief second. We'll come back to the National Anthem and the start of the game. You're listening to Birmingham Bulls Hockey. You are the barbecue boss, the sultan of spatula. And upon the first bite of Whataburger's barbecue bacon burger, you think, hey, I can make this. Your barbecue sauce might not be as smoky, and you probably wouldn't put both smoked cheddar and Monterey Jack on it. And you... Wait, is that... bacon? Good thing there's room for more than one poobah of the pit. Good thing there's the limited-time barbecue bacon burger at Whataburger. This is a shout out to the professional tailgaters, game day grillers, and potluck pros. Whether you bake it, smoke it, stack it, or melt it, there's nothing more important than how you cook up your team spirit while serving it with an ice cold Coca-Cola, Coke Zero Sugar, or Coke Light. We may not all agree on the best game day food, but when you serve your meals with a Coke, you know you've got yourself a winner. Enjoy an ice cold Coca-Cola at the Birmingham Bulls game.
nice crowd filing into the Pelham Civic Complex tonight for tonight's game. The referee will be Sean Hopp, linesman Michael Smith, and familiar linesman Noah Ackerman. It seems as he does almost every game here as the singers go off the ice. This game tonight between Birmingham and Knoxville, these two teams, it's just turned into a, a really ugly situation. Birmingham, their team is built on speed. Their team is built on goals. Their team is built on the way hockey is played today. Knoxville's not that way. Knoxville has scored three goals all year long. They've had two game suspensions or two suspensions already this season. Two game misconducts. This is a team that likes to intimidate or at least attempt to. And based on last night's game, I saw a team that had one of three things in mind. Number one, they wanted to take a player out for the period. Take a player out for the game even. Maybe take a player out for the season. And if they're not careful, you could take somebody out for a career. This is gonna be a game tonight to watch. It's gonna be, I don't wanna call it fun, I'm gonna call it tense. I do not wanna see what I saw last night in Knoxville in the third period. Hopefully, cooler heads will prevail. They won't have a repeat performance. And both teams will come out and play hockey the way it's supposed to be played. All right, we'll take one final break and we'll come back. Birmingham Bulls hockey. Okay, here we go. Face off center ice. Wiesner opposite Stallard for Knoxville. Puck has dropped and we're underway. Bulls control. Back in their own zone, played by Briarley. Ahead through center ice for Wiesner. He's chopped down by Stallard right off the bat and a penalty is called. Good call. Slashing is coming up on Jordan Stallard. There was no question about it. And that's a good call. That's how you control a hockey game. Stop it right from the get-go. 16 seconds into the game, Birmingham goes on the power play. Last night, Birmingham scored a power play goal for the season. Birmingham's power play is at 25%. They scored one goal in four attempts. Knoxville's penalty killed dead last. Barely half of the penalties. They kill. Off the draw, Knoxville does control and clears down in the ice, down to the Bulls' end of the ice. Briarley go back to pick it up for the Bulls. Played around the far boards for Kozarev. Kozarev drops it back for Briarley, and he'll start the power play for the Bulls through center ice. Taylor Briarley drops it back. Kozarev, far boards, it poked away from him. Loses center ice, played by McKinney. He'll backhand one in wide of Hayden Stewart in the near corner. Rose had it, knocked away from him, still loose. Loose puck picked up there by Kozarev for Birmingham. He'll send it in deep. Stop by Steves. He'll wrap it around the boards and Dawson McKinney, or excuse me, that's Cole Mc... Knoxville sends it down the length of the ice. That was now McKegney, I'm sorry, Cole McKegney played behind the net for Birmingham. A minute to go on the power play, just underway here, Birmingham. 16 seconds into the game with a power play opportunity. Through center ice, Dylan Johnson brings it in. He gets past the Huntsville defense, puts the brakes on, looks for a place to go, drops it down low for McTavish. He returns it. Taken away by Huntsville, and they'll clear. Rolo had it. Johnson stripped him of the puck. Step far side, Wiesner shot. Save made, rebound loose. Played behind the net, Birmingham. Sends it near side, Johnson down, and Huntsville clear, or Knoxville clears. McTavish gives it to Donahue right back in the zone. Donahue with a wrister goes high into the netting and out of play. And with 22 seconds remaining on the power play, 18.05 in the first period, we're scoreless. Birmingham so far one shot on goal in that period or in that power play as the faceoff comes up in the Knoxville zone. Drake Glover for Birmingham. Fletcher for Knoxville on the draw to the right of Steve's puck played by the Bulls. Briarley far side for Kozarev. He tries to get away from Huff.
drives it back for Briarly near side, Carson Rose. In front, deflected. Sinclair goes wide. Back at the point, it's played by Briarly. Briarly sends a wrister in front, stick the side by Steves. Penalty about to be over, one second left. Rose gives it to Sinclair, it's knocked away from him, and, and back comes Knoxville, two on one. Huff sends it in front, deflection, looking for there for Staller, didn't connect with it, and the puck is loose in the corner, now it's played by Fletcher for Knoxville. He turns and spins, played there by Dylan Peters for Birmingham along the far boards. Glover taken down, no call. Briarley hammers it into the zone. Birmingham will have a line change. Jason Price for Knoxville behind his own net. Still behind. He'll step out in front and play it now near side for Popoff. Sends it down into the Bulls zone. Romeo plays it there. McKechnie on him, so he'll bank one off the boards, and back comes Gervais. Quick. Keyshawn Gervais brings it in, tries to get wide. Backhander stick the side. By Steve Gervais, so quick. Well, that move down low. Along the boards, play behind the net, Gervais. He goes down, puck taken away from him, and back comes Enzer for Knoxville. Gets that center ice stripe, wraps one off the glass. Romeo plays it off the boards, and here comes Birmingham. Gervais gives it up, back to Gervais. Enzer takes his man down, loose puck in the slot, picked up by Knoxville, and here come the Ice Bears. Dawson McKinney has it. Tries to get around Solo. Cuts in front, stick the side, loose in front. Still banging away, Levac. Can't get it through, puck loose, picked up by just Solo of Birmingham, and he'll skate away. Nice scoring chance there for Knoxville. Stewart made the save, puck loose at center ice, still being fought for, it comes free to the far boards. Now whistle blows, we're gonna have a penalty. There was a melee in front of the Birmingham net, sticks were up. They're discussing it. I'm not sure someone's down in front of the Bulls bench. And I believe there is. Trainer is on the ice. For Knoxville, Dawson McKinney had went down. Birmingham's Keyshawn Gervais is gonna go off to the, to the penalty box. So at 3.57 of the first period, Knoxville will go on the power play for the first time tonight as a cross check is called on Keyshawn Gervais, the rookie. Knoxville has only had three power play opportunities. They have not converted on any of them as of yet. Famous last words. Off the draw, Knoxville controls. Florent sends a shot smothered up there by Hayden Stewart as Rexmo in on him. Birmingham makes sure to move him away from Stewart. Rexmo a history as well against the Birmingham Bulls. Not my favorite player by far. Faceoff will come to the left of Hayden Stewart. Just six seconds gone in the power play for Knoxville. Birmingham gains control of the puck and sends it down the length of the ice. Steve's out of his net, leaves it for Price. The captain, Jason Price, turns it up for Florent. He'll get a lot of ice time tonight, Florent. Far side for a Huff, takes a shot again. Stewart midsection save, gobbles it up, holds on for a faceoff in the bull zone. Stewart knows that his, his guys can win the faceoff. He'd rather hold it up than keep it going, especially on a power play. Good play by Hayden Stewart. Jordan Stallard on the draw now to the right of Stewart for Knoxville. McTavish for Birmingham. Puck is dropped, McTavish wins. Birmingham controls. Matt Wiesner with the puck, sends it down the ice. Jason Price will have to go back for Knoxville to pick it up. Steves leaves it for Price. Near side for Florent. Far side Huff, just as they did the last rush down the ice. Huff tips it in this time, gives Chase, Carter back, deflects it away. Puck, puck played near side, Jason Price has it. Price just inside the blue line. Far side, given up. Shot down low by Florent for Huff. Looking for a centering pass. Defensively, the Bulls cut it off, and Knoxville clears the puck themselves, trying to get it back to the defense at the blue line. Jason Price in his own zone has it. 49 seconds remaining on the power play for Knoxville. Price through center ice, brings it into the Bulls zone, drops it, sent in deep. Tarsi for Birmingham, ties his man up, loose puck along the near side. Played there by the Bulls, Carter. Along with Kula Tarsi, comes free. Knoxville has control. 
Florent with the puck. Rister blocked by the Bulls defense, loose in the slot, and it just clears the zone for Birmingham. 20 seconds remaining on the power play for Knoxville. Seth Enzer has it for Knoxville. Birmingham changes penalty killers. Enzer behind his own net, steps out and goes the other way. Rolo brings the puck in, gets around Romeo. Offside is gonna be the call if Knoxville touches up. Now the whistle blows. Offside is the call. The puck will come out in Birmingham's. Keyshawn Gervais exits the penalty box, successfully killing the penalty for the Bulls. 14.02 to go, first period, no score. We'll take a break. You're listening to Birmingham Bulls Hockey. This is a shout out to the professional tailgaters, game day grillers, and potluck pros. Whether you bake it, smoke it, stack it, or melt it, there's nothing more important than how you cook up your team spirit while serving it with an ice cold Coca-Cola, Coke Zero Sugar, or Coke Light. We may not all agree on the best game day food, but when you serve your meals with a Coke, you know you've got yourself a winner. Enjoy an ice cold Coca-Cola at the Birmingham Bulls game. Coca-Cola, taste the feeling. It's the classic dilemma at Whataburger. You pick up your patty melt with two fresh all-beef patties, melted Monterey Jack cheese, grilled onions, and creamy pepper sauce, and just when you're about to dig into Whataburger's take on this all-time classic, someone utters the dreaded words. Can I have a bite? Should you? Shouldn't you? Maybe you just take a big bite so you don't have to answer. Good thing that... All right, back to action, face off in the Knoxville zone to the left of goaltender Zane Steves. Loose there in the circle. Birmingham's Carson Rose picks the loose puck up, plays it around the boards near side. Solo had it taken away by Fletcher. It's loose in front. Centering pass for Birmingham goes by the wayside and Colton Fletcher sends it up ice for Knoxville. Into the zone, Stowler. He gives it up as this pass was intercepted by the Bulls, Carson Rose, and he skates away, tries to split the defense, gets down. Loses his edge, no call. Solo tries to keep it in as the puck comes free to the near side. Does escape the zone. Kozarev there banging away at the puck along with Solo who will bring it into the Knoxville zone. Rex Mo on him, bangs him into the boards. Knoxville clears it to the center ice stripe. McGregor Sinclair backhands one right back in. Knoxville at this point out shooting Birmingham 4-3, which is a big surprise to me. Played along the far boards. Back comes Knoxville's Colton Fletcher. Tips it ahead to Huff. Return for Fletcher out of his reach. Behind the net, Fletcher centers one in front. Nobody there for Knoxville. Birmingham clears. Seth Enzer has it at center ice. Played along the far boards. Florent ahead for Rolo, broken up. Birmingham Sinclair backhands one over to Sean Gervais. Gervais tried to set it up in front for Glover. It got away from him. Loose puck now played by Gervais, he picks it up. Far face off circle, cuts behind the net, still fighting with the puck. Gervais drops it back for McTavish. McTavish hit by Rolo, tied up in front, Gervais had a shot blocked by the defense. Knoxville can't clear, Birmingham keeps it alive. Gervais near side, behind the net. Florent will catch up to it first, return it back for Enzer as Birmingham will try and change. Seth Enzer banks one off the boards, intercepted by the Bulls' Taylor Briarly. He'll send it right back in where it's taken there by Felder. Felder sends it ahead for Levac. He's hit hard there by Dylan Peters. Loose puck picked up by the Bulls. Taylor Briarly has it. He'll try and circle away from McKinney. McKinney all over Taylor Briarly, so he'll step behind his own net and set the play. He'll send it up the boards, looking for Dylan Johnson. Got away from him, so icing will be called on the Birmingham Bulls. Faceoff will come back into the Bulls zone to the right of goaltender Hayden Stewart. 11.47 to go, first period, no score. Each team has had one power play opportunity, no goals. And right off the bat, besides one slash that was taken by Knoxville, seems, things seem to be at least close to the best right now. Jason Price absorbs a hit by Dylan Johnson Sends a shot wide, played along the near boards. McKinney there for Knoxville, breaks it free for Riley Robertson. Picked up there in the slot. Shot taken by McKegney. Save again, made by Hayden Stewart. Now pushing and shoving in front. Justin Levesque for Knoxville. Steps away. Excuse me, that's Matt Wiesner was there as well. 
Wiesner came to the defense of Jonathan Pace last night, who's not in the lineup. Give him a lot of credit for that. Wiesner is not the largest man on the ice. But when Justin Portillo slammed jo jo Jonathan Pace's head on the ice and then started to pummel him with punches, Wiesner came to his defense. You gotta love that now, it's played. Carson Rose takes the puck in. Robertson on him, Rose with a shot, save made, rebound loose. Oh, he didn't get put through. Right there was Kobotarzi, he had a chance and he just put the rebound wide. Steves could not find the loose puck. Now it's played behind the net, in front. McKechnie has it. He sends it behind the net, sends it right to the Bulls. Carson Rose. Rose drops it down for Kozarev. Rex Mo on him. And that's Jason Price. Kozarev sends it in deep. Glover there. He's hit on the play. And Levesque has it for Knoxville. He'll clear the zone. McKinney picks it up. Chase Carter back defensively for the Bulls. Knocks the puck away from him. Good defensive play. Chase Carter. McKechnie has it. He's hit on the play by Carson Rose. Loose puck picked up by the Bulls. And Glover lifts one out of the zone as Birmingham will change lines. Ten and a half to go. First period. No score. Popoff sends it ahead for Knoxville for Fletcher, who sends it in deep. Kolotarsi picks it up for Birmingham. Far side played for Larson. Buster Larson back. Keyshawn Gervais takes the pass in the near corner. Couldn't control it, but now has it. Looking for a place to go. Keyshawn Gervais skates through the slot. Back at the point. Shot taken. Deflected wide. Now in front. A shot there by McTavish goes wide. At the puck. The blue line kept in by the Bulls. Jeff Solo. Wrist one deflected by McTavish wide. Pressure being put on by Birmingham. Knoxville does control those. Jordan Popoff has it. And he'll bank one off the boards down the ice. Stewart will play it. He leaves it for his defenseman, Jeff Solo. Solo gave the puck away. Fletcher with a shot. Good play. He came back to deflect his own errant pass. That was almost a mistake that can cost you. Ryan Romeo has it for Birmingham. Near side for Solo. Ahead for Donahue. Donahue deflects it down in the zone deep. Steves plays it himself for Felder. Now the puck is center ice, picked up by Tyler Rollo. Linesman tied up over there between four players. The puck comes free near side in the bull zone. Lifted through center ice. Enzer plays it down. Whistle blows. They're going to rule a hand pass on Seth Enzer, so a faceoff will come up as we're under nine and a half. 9.19 to go. First period. We'll take a media break. No score between Birmingham and Knoxville. You're listening to Birmingham Bulls Hockey. You are the barbecue boss, the sultan of spatula. And upon the first bite of Whataburger's barbecue bacon burger, you think, hey, I can make this. Your barbecue sauce might not be as smoky, and you probably wouldn't put both smoked cheddar and Monterey Jack on it. And you... Wait, is that... Bacon? Good thing there's room for more than one poo bah of the pit. Good thing there's the limited time barbecue bacon burger at Whataburger. This is a shout out to the professional tailgaters, game day grillers, and potluck pros. Whether you bake it, smoke it, stack it, or melt it, there's nothing more important than how you cook up your team spirit while serving it with an ice cold Coca Cola, Coke Zero Sugar, or Coke Light. We may not all agree on the best game day food, but when you serve your meals with a Coke, you know you've got yourself a winner. Enjoy an ice it's cold Coca-Cola at the Birmingham Burger. Bulls game. Coca-Cola, taste the feeling. Back to the Pelham Civic Complex. Jody Chernesky here alone tonight. My regular partner in crime, if you will, Greg Drevin, is coaching the University of Alabama hockey team playing in Nashville tonight. So you'll have to bear with me. I don't have the relief to give a comment or two when needed. Face off outside of the Knoxville zone. No score. 9-19 to go first period. Tyler Rolo opposite Matt Wiesner for the Bulls. Loose at their skates. Picked up by Briley. He'll send it far side for Dylan Peters. Sends one in. Glove there by Zane Steves. It kind of fooled him a little bit. He dropped it and pounced on it just to make sure nobody came in that wasn't wearing a white jersey that his Knoxville players are wearing tonight. Birmingham out shooting Knoxville at this point, seven to six. Face off to the left, the goaltender Zane Steve. Once again, Rolo opposite Wiesner. Puck is dropped, Wiesner controls. Played by Dylan Peters. Down low, 
Donahue has it. Tries to get away from Robertson. Gives it to Wiesner. Back at the point for Peters. He'll send it around the net. Dylan Johnson has it for Birmingham. Banks went off the boards. Now Briarly has it. Briarly, a wrister deflected wide of Steves. Price tries to backhand one out. Can't do it. Kept in by Birmingham. And now Hunt or Knoxville finally clears. Puck played center ice by the Bulls. Johnson brings it in. Wiesner almost was offside. Johnson tied up far boards. Sends the one out to the blue line. Cola Tarsi backhands one in. Rose behind the net. He'll play it. Wiesner gives chase along with Carter. Carter catches up with it. Now Cola Tarsi fires off a skate in front. Rose turns, spins. That hit the defense in front, and back comes Knoxville the other way. Huff sends one right in on Stewart. He'll steer it aside for Joey Cola Tarsi. Puts the brakes on behind the net. Cola Tarsi waiting for reinforcements. Gives it up for defenseman Chase Carter. Sends one right in on Steves. Once again, with Glover bearing down on him, the Bulls' leading scorer. He holds on and covers it up. Four faceoff. Glover, as I mentioned, the Bulls' leading scorer. Coming into tonight, two goals, three assists, five points. He scored in every Bulls game so far. He's a new addition to this hockey team. Last year, he played for Fayetteville. Glover will be on the drive for the Bulls. McKechnie for Knoxville. Puck is dropped, loose at their skates. Bulls, Solo has it. Top of the faceoff, Dots gives it up for Kozarev, bounced off his stick, and look out, here comes Knoxville's McKinney. McKinney takes a shot, nice play. Romeo deflects it before it even got through to the slot. Now it's loose in the Bulls' corner. McKinney plays it off the boards for Popov, a shot save made by Stewart. Loose puck, far boards, Glover banks one into center ice. Jordan Popoff sends one in, wrapped around, gets past Stewart. Solo picks it up for the Bulls, far boards. Banks one to Kozarev. Kozarev ahead for Gervais. Gervais has Glover with him, gets around one man. Gets around, Popoff shot, save May, rebound, loose in front, kick to the near corner by Knoxville. Now it's played through center ice. Yates had it, taken away from him by Ryan Romeo, who will circle back in his own zone and start the play once again, Solo. Gets it right back to Romeo, ahead for McTavish, off his stick, but picked up by Gervais. His shot goes wide of the net. Now McGregor Sinclair in the near corner, tries to dig it free for Birmingham, but the puck escapes the zone. Birmingham will have to vacate. That's Taylor Briarly. Sends it ahead for Sinclair. He backhands one off the stick of Gervais. Puck comes free deep where it's played by Knoxville around the near boards. Wiesner picks it up for Birmingham. Centers one in front, Donahue shot save made. Centering pass, given up. Birmingham still has control of the puck. They'll send one into the near corner. That's McTavish. McTavish for Briarly. Wraps one around. Wiesner is there for Birmingham, far side. Matt Wiesner with the puck. Down low for Donahue. Donahue finds Peters. Far side, Briarly a shot, stick save made by Steves. One timer by Briarly, didn't get through. Briarly has it. Sends one in front, loose puck, right in the slot, right in the goal mouth. There's Steves, he covers up. As Birmingham sending some good low shots, a lot of rebounds are coming out free off the stick of Steves. And when they crash the net, anything can happen. But he was able to get on top of that puck to hold on with 5.50 to go in the first period, still no score. Both teams changing line as the faceoff will come in the Knoxville zone to the right of goaltender Zane Steves. Chase Carter and Joey Kolatarsi out defensively for Birmingham, Matt Wiesner, Buster Larson, Scott Donahue for Birmingham. Tyler Rolo for Knoxville will take the draw. Loose there in the faceoff circle, picked up by Seth Enzer of Knoxville. Cola Tarsi gets in the way of his clearing pass. Tuck, puck still loose. Comes free and out of center ice. Chase Carter tries to get it in deep. Can't do it. It's played off the stick of Huff. Birmingham controls. Carter has it. Ahead for Drake Glover. He can't get it deep as Enzer intercepts. Sends one right to the faceoff circle at center ice. Nobody seems to want control of the puck right now. Carson Rose takes it, near side, comes in, face off circle, deeks around one man, shot taken, save made, rebound, high in the air, off the glass, played 
by Tyler Rolo. He sends it back for Seth Edner. Enzer Glover giving chase. Pass almost intercepted there by Carson Rose, but it deflects right to Kula Tarsi. He gives it ahead for Kozarev. Kozarev for Rose. Takes the shot wide. Off the glass is played. Back comes McKechnie for Knoxville. Tries to center one in front for McKinney. Can't do it. Kozarev takes it away. Kozarev will skate. Drops it back for Chase Carter, who will play the puck behind his own net and leave it for Ryan Romeo. Birmingham changing lines. McTavish along with Sinclair and Gervais out for Birmingham as Romeo starts to play. Romeo had it taken away from him, poked at least by Robertson, but loose, picked up by McGregor Sinclair in the near corner behind the net for Gervais. Look for McTavish in front, but it's knocked away from him. Gervais picks the loose puck up, centered one right on the stick of Gavin Yates at Knoxville. Now a shot by Solo. Goes wide, almost deflected in front. Far side, puck loose, played along the boards. Comes free, Birmingham will have to clear the zone. Solo brings it right back in. Gets around Robertson, try to centering pass for McTavish, it's intercepted and Knoxville will clear the zone. McKinney giving chase, but McGregor Sinclair catches up with it first. For Romeo, ahead for Gervais. Off of his stick, loose in center ice. Right just outside the Knoxville blue line, cleared in. Wiesner tries to get there, but can't do it. Fletcher catches up with it first, avoids a check by Gervais. He gives a good long look to Gervais, and here we go. Gervais dropping him. And right now off the bat, here it goes. Basie, Alex Basie and Gervais. Basie didn't like the way Gervais hit. He said, let's go, and they both threw their gloves down All right there by Gervais. Basie comes in with right now, big right by Gervais, misses. A right by Gervais again, right, by, oh, they're just going at it. Basie with a right, Gervais with a right. They are both landing them as the linemen step in. Holy cow, that was a good bout. And that right there will endure into the hearts of Birmingham fans. Rookie Keyshawn Gervais, he's hamming it up. He'll be sent off the ice, but they're loving what they saw out of Keyshawn Gervais here in Birmingham. Gervais started that play with a clean hit, but it's something that Knoxville did not like, especially defenseman Alex Basie. Basie then yelled based at Gervais, threw his gloves on the ice, as did Gervais for that matter. Both of them knew what they were gonna do. They went at it. Both landed great punches. Gervais gone to the locker room. Basie's in the penalty box. Birmingham out shooting Knoxville 15 to seven. I knew that was gonna happen. I just didn't know when it would occur. And it happens at 1636 of the first period of play, our first fight of the game, and I have a feeling it won't be the last. So far, we don't have any penalties called. We just know that there's definitely gonna be five for fighting on each. I don't know if there'll be an instigator or not. Both teams have five players on the ice, so I believe we're just going to have coincidental majors. as the faceoff comes back into the Birmingham zone. Well, that ignited the crowd. Wiesner for Birmingham, Stallard for Knoxville. Now they're gonna halt play as the horn goes. I think they're wanting some explanations for the penalties. We know they're gonna get five for fighting. We know there's five a piece on the ice right now for both teams and the referee is fine with that, Sean Hopp. I'm not sure what the discussion is, but as the linesman skates away from the scoring table, we'll get back to play. 3.24 to go, first period, no score. Puck loose in the bull zone, Dylan Peters has it. He gives it up for Briarly, who takes the hit. Here we go, the physical play will pick up now for sure. Matt Wiesner pokes it free for Donahue. Steph the ends are on him. Loose puck picked up by Dylan Johnson. He'll try and cut behind the net, puts the brakes on. Two players on him. Donahue comes in for Birmingham to help out, and there's Dylan Johnson and Enzer pushing and shoving. Sticks getting high, too. That's what I don't like to see. Taylor Barley behind his own net. He's hounded there by Colton Fletcher. Barley, a good play, pokes it to center ice. Ahead for Kozarev. 
Kozarev drops it for Rose, who's hit hard on the play. Kolatarsi will pick the loose puck up for the Bulls for Chase Carter. Carter, nice pass off the skate, though. Carson Rose, he'll backhand one for Glover. Glover tries to get around Price, does, cuts in front, save made by Steves. Nice move by Glover. Steves with a save. Now Rose has it a shot again. Steves with a save. Kolatarsi, far side. Sends one around the boards off the stick of Carson Rose. Picked up by Hunt, or Knoxville, that is, Fletcher, and he'll send it down the length of the ice. Now Kola Tarsi there fighting for it. Along with Yates, Bulls come up with the loose puck. Nice move by Kozarev, gets away from Price. Fletcher on him, gives it to Kola Tarsi. Banks one really off the linesman. And a whistle blows, we're gonna have a penalty coming up, it's gonna be a slash. Two oh four remaining in the first period. This one's going to be on Knoxville. Brady Florent, two minutes for the slash. So the last two oh or the last two minutes of the last two oh four will be a Bulls power play unless the Bulls can score. This will be the second power play of the night for Birmingham. Zero oh for one so far. Brady Florent in the box for slashing. Birmingham on a power play. Face off in the Knoxville zone. Loose picked up there by Wiesner. He'll drop it back at the point of shot save. Right into the shoulder of Steves. Nice play there by Romeo. Got the puck through. Steves didn't see it, but it did hit him. Romeo now plays it behind his own net around the boards all the way back to the Knoxville blue line where Jason Price has it. Price lists one high down into the bull zone. Romeo will have to go there. A minute 40 remaining in the period. A minute 38 in the power play for Birmingham. McTavish brings it into the Knoxville zone. Dylan Johnson gives it up for Wiesner. Far boards. In front, Johnson one time or weak one gets by him. Off the boards is played. Birmingham will have control. Romeo near side. Johnson return to Romeo. Thought about a wrister. He holds on to it. Gives it up for Dylan Johnson near boards. Down low. McTavish had it knocked away from him. Romeo, good job to keep it inside the blue line, but McTavish stick exploded. He couldn't do anything with it, and Tyler Rolo clears his own. Glover picks it up for Birmingham, drops it back on defense for Romeo. A minute to go in the period, no score. Romeo gives it up for Carson Rose. 51 seconds, now 50 remaining on the power play. Rose, good job to bring it in the zone, couldn't control it, and Knoxville pokes it free. Glover will have to retrieve. Taylor Briley now for Birmingham. Cuts behind his own net. Levac there tries to pressure him, so he'll drop it, and Carson Rose has it. He can't get it to Sinclair, but it is poked into the Knoxville zone. Jason Price has it, and he clears. Knoxville doing a good job on the penalty kill in this situation. Birmingham's had one good scoring chance, but not any momentum where they can keep it into that zone and get shots and rebounds. Briarly brings it in, Enzer takes it away from him. Now it's played there by Glover, Briarly fighting for it, comes free, Sinclair gives it up for Briarly, a shot just whistles wide. Carson Rose isn't gonna be able to catch up with it, they're down to five seconds left in the period, the power play is over. Carson Rose maybe with one more chance, comes in deep, centers one in front, never made it through. Rose very unhappy with that power play, very frustrated. As he's the first one off the ice, banging his stick up against the board. Well, I had a feeling we were going to see a little bit of the nasty stuff. 16 seconds into the first period, we had our first unnecessary penalty by Knoxville, a slash, and it was a great call in May. Birmingham did not convert on that power play. Then we had our first fight of the game, and it was really no instigator in both those players both Basie for Knoxville and Gervais for Birmingham threw their gloves, not dropped them, threw them down on the ice and went at it toe to toe. And it was an excellent fight if you like fights. And then at the last minute, or last two minutes of the first period, another slashing by Knoxville results in a power play. Birmingham did not convert. And so that's the way it ends after one period of play. Birmingham zero, Knoxville zero. Birmingham did outshoot Knoxville 18 to seven there in that first period. So with that period, Hayden Stewart is now four periods consecutive of shutout hockey. Stewart's playing a well of a game and had a well of a start to the season. All right, we'll take a break. At the end of one, Birmingham nothing, Knoxville nothing. You're listening to Birmingham Bulls hockey. 
It's, it's the, the classic, classic dilemma at Whataburger. You pick up your patty melt with two fresh all-beef patties, melted Monterey Jack cheese, grilled onions, and creamy pepper sauce. And just when you're about to dig into Whataburger's take on this all-time classic, someone utters the dreaded words. Can I have a bite? Should you? Shouldn't you? Maybe you just take a big bite so you don't have to answer. Good thing that dilemma's over. Good thing there's the patty melt at Whataburger. This is a shout out to the professional tailgaters, game day grillers, and potluck pros. Whether you bake it, smoke it, stack it, or melt it, there's nothing more important than how you cook up your team spirit while serving it with an ice cold Coca-Cola, Coke Zero Sugar, or Coke Life. We may not all agree on the best game day food, but when you serve your meals with a Coke, you know you've got yourself a winner. Enjoy an ice cold Coca-Cola at the Birmingham Bulls game. Coca-Cola, taste the feeling. It's the classic dilemma at Whataburger. You pick up your patty melt with two fresh all-beef patties, melted Monterey Jack cheese, grilled onions, and creamy pepper sauce, 
And just when you're about to dig into Whataburger's take on this all-time classic, someone utters the dreaded words. Can I have a bite? Should you? Shouldn't you? Maybe you just take a big bite so you don't have to answer. Good thing that dilemma's over. Good thing there's the patty melt at Whataburger. This is a shout out to the professional tailgaters, game day grillers, and potluck pros. Whether you bake it, smoke it, stack it, or melt it, there's nothing more important than how you cook up your team spirit while serving it with an ice cold Coca-Cola, Coke Zero Sugar, or Coke Life. We may not all agree on the best game day food, but when you serve your meals with a Coke, you know you've got yourself a winner. Enjoy an ice cold Coca-Cola at the Birmingham Bulls game. Coca-Cola, taste the feeling. Okay, back at the Pelham Civic Complex, Jody Chernesky here going solo tonight is Greg Dreveny is coaching the University of Alabama hockey team in Nashville, Tennessee tonight That's after a kind of a late schedule change for the University of Alabama. Right now, at the end of one period of play, both teams scoreless. We have had some excitement, though, uh, right off the bat, a slashing call, a couple of power plays by Birmingham. Go by the wayside, 0 for 2 tonight for Birmingham, 0 for 1 tonight for Knoxville on the power play. One excellent fight if you're into it. Uh, Keyshawn Gervais, a rookie for the Birmingham Bulls, really endeared himself to the fans tonight. They went crazy as both of the players, Alex Basie for Knoxville and Gervais for Birmingham, just throwing right after right after right. And Gervais knows how to play to the crowd. After it was over with, throwing his arms up in the air, skating around the boards, the crowd went crazy for him. Not since Jerome Bouchard have I seen anything like that. And that's who we retired the jersey from last week. That's the kind of cult following a player like Keyshawn Gervais can muster up. Fans love a player like that. And no different here in Birmingham as well. All right. Other games around the league tonight. Fayetteville is at Macon. Huntsville is at Pensacola, which should be an exciting game. Huntsville 3-0 on the season. After their 2-1 win here in Birmingham last week, they've only given up four goals, the Havoc half. Roanoke is also on the road there at Quad City. Roanoke, last year's champion, defeated Birmingham the last two games in overtime to take a 3-1 championship series win over the Bulls in the finals. They're also at 3-0 tonight, or as going into tonight's game. So we'll take a few breaks for about four or five minutes, and then we'll be back. No score. Birmingham and Knoxville after one period of play. You're listening to Birmingham Bulls Hockey.
Back to action here in the second period. Right off the bat, Birmingham will be called for interference. Apologize for that technical difficulty, but the battery ran down and had to find the charger cable. McTavish goes in the penalty box for Birmingham interference to call 109 into the second period of play. Once again, I do apologize, but we're back underway. Second power play of the night coming up for Knoxville off the draw. They gain control, a shot was taken after the whistle blew by Colton Fletcher. That's not something you see often. The whistle clearly blew. We heard it up here. He still took a wrister right in on Stewart who gloved it easily and looked at him like, what are you doing? They'll drop it again. Loose puck picked up by Jeff Solo. The Bulls sends it far side. Birmingham clears. Picked up there by McTavish. Or Glover, that is. Glover deep into the Knoxville zone. Two men on him. Has it poked away. And back comes Knoxville the other way. Rex Moe brings it into the Bulls line. Easily poke checked away from him and sent the length of the ice. Steves plays it for Florent. Cut behind his own net. Dangerous pass right out in front for Jason Price, who will bring it through center ice. Price brings it in, drops it back. A shot steered aside easily by Stewart. Puck played along the far boards. Price has it. Tries to get it down behind the net. Chase Carter intercepts, and the Bulls clear. A minute to go here in the power play for Knoxville on the interference call. They'll start the play the other way. Cameron Huff skates through center ice. Three Bulls back defensively. Huff takes a shot, blocked aside by the Bulls defense. Now Huff picks up his own rebound, skates to the near side. Far side pass, shot taken. Save made, goes far side. Hunt Knoxville controls his Rolo has it. He plays it in for the Ice Bears around the near boards. McKinney has it. Now here we go, another melee in the corner. They'll break that one up as the Bulls clear. Dylan Johnson tries to get it away from Enzer. Can't do it. Enzer sends it for Rolo. Rolo skates through center ice. Drops it back. That's a shot taken on the far side by Fletcher and it goes cleared now by the Bulls. The length of the ice, we're down to 10 seconds to go in the power play. Second one of the night. Another kill for Birmingham. Both teams 0 for 2 on the power play. Behind the net, Knoxville start. That's Stowler. He looked to send it for McKinney, but it deflects off Briarly into the crowd and out of play. 16.42 to go here in the second period. Face off will come at center ice. I'm not sure why Knoxville is not sending the line. To, they're, they're really delaying this. They were late to come on to the second period. Now they're all huddled in front of their bench. Stallard, McKechnie, Moe, Price. Out for Knoxville along for Birmingham. That's McGregor Sinclair on the draw. Larson to his side. Dylan Peters and Taylor Priley on defense. Puck drop three, Briarly has it. He gives it for Peters. Peters lifts one far side four. Gervais out of the penalty box. He sends one deep into the Knoxville zone. Price plays it. Far boards. Kept in, alive by Gervais. Gervais walks out in front, had it poked away from him. Loose puck near corner. In front, a shot taken. Save may now score. Now they're gonna wave that one off. As Steves was run over. And that's gonna start another one, Steves. Was ran over before the puck went in the net. There will be no goal. Referee right on the spot exactly where it's supposed to be. Waved that one off immediately. And I'm surprised there's not fisticuffs going on right now. And there may be before it's over with. Normally you don't run a goaltender like that without something happening. And it looks like Sean Hopp, the referee, Going over the scores table saying no go. I'm surprised there wasn't a penalty to be called, to be honest with you. Steves was knocked over. 
Birmingham fortunate not to be penalized on that play for goalie interference. We're still at no score, 16-18 to go second period. Birmingham out shooting Knoxville 19 to eight. Face off just outside the Ice Bears blue line. Glover for Birmingham pokes it free into the Knoxville zone. He's held up by Robertson. Now Kozarev loses control and it's taken by Knoxville and they'll lift one to center ice. Solo for Birmingham, Banks went off the boards, clears the zone, now Romeo picks the loose puck up. Carson Rose has it, can't break free into the Knoxville zone, and back comes Huff. Good play by Solo defensively, knocks the puck away from him. Poke free for Kozarev, nice pass, touched. Up for Carson Rose, he'll try to get around, Popoff does, cuts in front, puck went right in on Steves, who easily covers up with the glove. Carson Rose got around Jordan Popoff, the Knoxville defenseman, but couldn't get a good shot off. The puck just trickled right in on Steves, who gloved it and covers it for a faceoff. 15.42 to go, second period. The longer this game goes on, without a Birmingham goal, wow, that, that really favors Knoxville. They're just trying to hang on and stay into this game. Birmingham is so much better, I, I can't even describe it. It's like a football team it's won one game, staying in a 10-3 game for three quarters. That's the way it feels like now. A shot taken by the Bulls, right in on Steves who hugs the post as Solo bore down on him, and he holds on for another faceoff. Steves has played excellent hockey tonight. He did last night. He gave up one goal on a power play by Dylan Johnson late in the third period for Birmingham's fifth goal, and he's given up nothing since. His counterpart for Birmingham, Hayden Stewart, can say the same thing. We're nothing, nothing, 15-33 to go, second period. Face-off controlled by the Bulls, but it clears the zone. Romeo will have to go give chase. Picks up the puck behind his own net. Yates there pressures him. Romeo still with the puck, holds on to it. Banks one off the boards for center ice. The elbow comes up there by Felder, no call. Dylan Johnson has the puck, can't get around. Seth Enzer, who was sprawled out on the ice, Donahue banks one off the board, Solo has it. Solo, down low. After Romeo, a shot deflected by Johnson just wide. Knoxville will pick the rebound up and they'll clear the zone. Now, Yates was hit there by McTavish. Puck comes free into the Birmingham zone. No shot taken, McKinney had a chance. Donahue with the clear into the corner. McKechnie sends it back for Popoff. Popoff pressured. By Donahue, he'll dump it down low. Now Romeo takes his man. Yates knocked off the play by McGregor Sinclair and the puck comes free for Birmingham's Jeff Solo who'll lift one to center ice. Popoff has it. Banks went in front of the Birmingham bench for Yates. Bulls clear right back in. Seth Enzer and McTavish giving chase. McTavish again close to Steed. Birmingham's got to watch out for that goaltender interference. They're getting dangerously close to running Steed, and he's questioning the official. What are you? He's asking, what are you doing? He, that's twice he's been hit, and I can't disagree with him. He's got a point. Now Steve has something to say to the Birmingham bench as we're here for a media break. The one thing you don't want to do is wake up the dirtiness that is on that Knoxville bench. And one way you can do that is by going after their goaltender. It happens at all levels of hockey. The one, one player on the ice you don't touch is the goaltender. Sometimes you can't avoid it, but in this case tonight, I can't say that. Birmingham very fortunate not to have had a penalty call on both times where Steve's was ran into. 14-10 to go, second period. Still no score, faceoff comes all the way out to center ice. After a play like that, it's always interesting to see who Knoxville puts on the ice. As Stewart makes his way back in the net. Huff and Rolo out, along with Jason Price, Riley Robertson, a big defenseman, back as well. Now fought for at the center ice dot, still loose. Poke three, Birmingham's Kola Tarsi has it. Gingerly lifts one through, Robertson intercepts, and Knoxville sends it into the bull zone. 
Stewart plays it behind his net for Chase Carter. Carter for Gervais, backhands one intercepted by Knoxville, but they'll have to clear the zone as they were in offside. Tarsi picks it up for Birmingham, far side for Carter. Ahead for Sinclair, who taps it to McTavish. Nice stick work, McTavish gets around Price. And in the far corner, McTavish holding onto the puck, centers one, Gervais' shot, score! Keyshawn Gervais with a nice feed. Sends one just beside the arm of goaltender Zane Steves, and that one right there might be the icebreaker Birmingham needs. And the fan favorite, Keyshawn Gervais, is the one who did it. Big time goal there by Gervais. We needed that one desperately. Gervais picks up his fourth goal of the year. A rookie. Two fights, three fights on the year, four goals, and he's all over the place. What a pickup that was for Craig Simchuk and Kevin Kerr, the coaching staff of the Birmingham Bulls. Birmingham with the puck in the Knoxville zone. Glover takes an elbow, knocks his helmet off. He gets, takes his number. That was Seth Enzer who delivered the hit. Peters has it now in his own blue line, sends it back for Matt Wiesner who tips it into the Knoxville zone. Now Felder takes a hit there. Puck comes free far side, Knoxville through center ice. They're having trouble breaking past the Birmingham defense. They're just not fast enough, period. Birmingham quickly turns it, Kozarev. Far side pass, Wiesner. Wiesner takes a shot gloved by Steves and he holds on. As Birmingham, that goal by Gervais has lit a fire under him. You can tell there's a different, different feel on the ice now. Birmingham is starting to get their speed going and Knoxville cannot match Birmingham's speed or skill. There's not a player on that team that can do that. Not one Knoxville player. That team was constructed to do one thing and that was to terrorize, demoralize, and play rough. They can do that well, but they can't skate with the Birmingham Bulls. Donahue off the draw. Back for Solo, sends a wrister wide. Romeo, near side, played behind the net, Larson. The big Swede has it for Birmingham. Still plays it. Backhands one in the corner. Donnie will have to give chase. Robertson on him. He's hammered into the boards by Robertson. Puck comes free and out of the zone. Whistle blows. We'll have a face off there. Riley Robertson, big, big defenseman. Took Donahue to the boards, held him there. The puck comes free and out to center ice or out of the ice, that is. Face-off will be in the Knoxville zone. 12.28 to go. Second period, Birmingham with a one nothing lead off the goal by Keyshawn Gervais, his fourth of the year. Controlled by Knoxville, that's Yates has it. Gavin Yates loses it though. Romeo takes a big hit there by McKinney, Dawson McKinney. They're getting the sticks and their elbows up. We're gonna have to take a closer look at that. Something is going to happen. It just is, Larson. Brings it into the Knoxville zone. The bodies are really starting to fly now. Robertson behind his own net for Knoxville. Gervais watches him. Gives it up for McKechnie. McKechnie sends one down all the way down in the ice. This has got to be icing. It's Chase Carter. They'll wave it off. Carter plays it for Solo. That surprised him as well. Knoxville has it. Centering pass broken up by Gervais. And back comes Birmingham's McTavish. Has Gervais with him. McTavish takes a shot, blocker, save made by Steve. Puck comes all the way to center ice. Carter gets back defensively, good play. Chase Carter breaks the puck up and Birmingham Gervais has it. Ahead for McTavish. Drops it back for Cole Tarsi, just off the mark. McTavish has it knocked off his stick. Played there by Knoxville, now McTavish comes in. Along with Gervais, puck comes free. Chase Carter, near side Cole Tarsi. Sinclair sends a wrister, gloved in front. Traffic was there, but Dean Steve saw it the whole way. Down on his knees, made the save with the glove, and he holds on for a faceoff. 11-16 to go. Second period, Birmingham with a 1-0 lead over Knoxville. Birmingham has controlled the play. 25-8 shots on goal in favor of Birmingham. And as long as we don't make any mistakes, as long as we don't give up a pass in our own zone, as long as we don't cough the puck up and give a breakaway, I don't know how Knoxville scores. Peters with the puck for Birmingham. Rister blocked by defense. Peters fights for the puck, loose puck along the near boards. Huff comes in for Knoxville. Seth Enzer as well to try and poke it free. 
Knoxville breaks clear. Tyler Rolo has it. Rolo tries to get around. Rose can't. He just sends one beside the net. Steering pass. Stewart steered it aside. Dylan Peters picks it up for Birmingham. Dangerous pass through the goal mouth, but connects. Looking for Sinclair. Missed him. Knoxville will take control of the puck behind their own net. Huff has it. Kozarev watches him in front of Zane Stees. Drops it for Enzer. Felder ahead through center ice. Loose puck there. Wiesner fighting for it. Comes free on the stick of Kozarev. He backhands one in. Felder knocks him into the Knoxville bench. Enzer will skate away in his own zone. Long head manning pass for Fletcher off the mark, and icing will be called on Knoxville. 10-13 to go, second period. Ryan Romeo at defensive for Birmingham along with Jeff Solo, who's, who's really had a good solid. And Solo is another new player to the Birmingham Bulls this year. Very good, solid defenseman. Gets a lot of ice time because of it as well. Face off in the Knoxville zone. Controlled by the Bulls, that's Solo. He'll sit in around the net looking for Dylan Johnson. Felder on him, Johnson still with the puck. Now that's McKechnie trying to poke it free. Bulls still control, Romeo just inside the blue line. For Solo, taps one low into the corner. Knoxville intercepts and they clear. Gets around the defensive Solo. Romeo back defensively, breaks up a possible two on one. Romeo takes the hit there. Birmingham with control at center ice. Another big hit along the boards on Wiesner. Stewart takes the puck. He'll whip it around the boards himself. Can't get it out. Now Johnson picks the loose puck up. Johnson ahead for Gervais. Keyshawn Gervais can't cut around the defense. Wiesner tries to control the puck. Can't do it. Knoxville takes it and just clears the zone. Birmingham will take it there in their own zone. Cola Tarsi has it for McTavish. Has Gervais with him. McTavish tries to go wide around. Basie does wrap around, takes the wrister right into the midsection of Steves, who holds on. And we'll have our another media break here of the second period. Right, Birmingham. On the goal by Gervais, leading 1-0, 9.05 to go, second period. You're listening to Birmingham Bulls Hockey. This is a shout out to the professional tailgaters, game day grillers, and potluck pros. Whether you bake it, smoke it, stack it, or melt it, there's nothing more important than how you cook up your team spirit while serving it with an ice cold Coca-Cola, Coke Zero Sugar, or Coke Light. We may not all agree on the best game day food, but when you serve your meals with a Coke, you know you've got yourself a winner. Enjoy an ice cold Coca-Cola at the Birmingham Bulls game. Coca-Cola, taste the feeling. Back to the Pelham Civic Complex. Jody Chernaski here. 9.05 to go, second period. We're halfway through this game. Birmingham leading by a score of one nothing. Both goaltenders playing excellent hockey, especially Zane Steves. Birmingham really putting the pressure on him through a period and a half of hockey. 26 shots on goal so far, and we still have nine minutes to go here in the second. 14 shots on goal is all Knoxville could muster last night. They have eight so far tonight. A lot of, lot of body checks, bites, elbows, and sticks in the air. Not many shots on goal. Off the draw, Bulls control. Chase Carter has it. Down low into the faceoff circle. Centering pass, Sinclair has it, just whistles one wide. He had it on his stick, but couldn't wrap it around Steve. Now Sinclair chases it. Basie on him, drops it back. That's McTavish with the puck for Birmingham. Behind the net, played there for Gervais. Gervais sends it around the near side, but right onto the stick of Huntsville. Sinclair, good job taking it off from Levesque. Birmingham's McTavish back at the point is play for Cola Tarsi. Wraps one off the boards, looking for it to come right in front. McGregor Sinclair plays it for the Bulls. Riley Robertson picks it up. All Knoxville is trying to do is just clear the zone. I see no offensive effort whatsoever. McKechnie back in his own end, plays it. Off the boards, deep into the Bulls zone. Stewart will play it and leave it for Kola Tarsi, for Kozarev. Rolo there. He tries to keep it in. Rolo may be their best player, offensively that is. 
Here comes Kozarev, tries to get around Huff. Kozarev hangs on to the puck. Sergei pass rolls right into the midsection of Steves. Good play there by Kozarev. Nifty stick work, excellent pass to Rose. Anticipated the shot, but right into the midsection of goaltender Zane Steves, once again, who holds it for the faceoff. Kozarev still out with Glover. Peters. Taylor Brierley. And Carson Rose off the draw. Loose, picked up by Rose, sends it for Dylan Peters. He has to send it in deep. Played behind the net. That's Jason Price tying his man up. Puck comes free for Knoxville. Tyler Rolo there, can't get it out. Carson Rose intercepts. Nice pass back to the blue line for his defense. Dylan Peters with a shot blocked in front by Jordan Popoff, who will take it and just get it to center ice, where once again Knoxville costs it up. Back comes Dylan Johnson into the zone, fakes a shot, puck on his edge. He has to skate, try to get around Price, does. Far side, centers one out for Donahue, couldn't get all. Oh, Donahue got the puck loose, and Steve's made the save. Now it comes free, Donahue has it near faceoff circle, holding onto the puck, they can't get it away. Johnson, Larson, penalty coming up on Knoxville. Delayed penalty is the call, Birmingham with the puck. Down low it's played. Out front, now at the point for Taylor Briarley. Briarley for Peters. Peters tries to center one, knocked off the stick of Stallard, and the whistle blows. Birmingham will go on the power play for the third time tonight, 0 for 2 thus far, out shooting Knoxville 29 to 8. I'm telling you, Knoxville can't get it in the bull zone. Slashing once again on Knoxville. This one, Jordan Stowler. That's three slashes tonight, folks, on Knoxville. That stick in your hand is a weapon. Think about that. That's the MO of the Knoxville Ice Bear. Face off in the Knoxville zone to the left of Steve's. McTavish has. On the draw for Birmingham, loose puck there, Bulls play it. Enzer takes his man out. Now he takes another one down, no call. Holding could have been called easily on that, but at least it's not slashing. Birmingham, Ryan Romeo behind his own net, sets the power play up. Skates away, gives it up for McTavish. Ahead for Dylan Johnson. Johnson sends one in, Birmingham gives chase. McTavish and Donahue there. Behind the goal line is play. Still fighting for the puck. McTavish and Donahue trying to poke it free of Enser. Finally does, comes around to the near corner. Backhanded one, but not out. Ryan Romeo keeps it in. Gets away from Tyler Rolo. Birmingham's Wiesner, good job to keep it in. Down low for McTavish. Tries to get it around Enser. Now Johnson does as well. Puck comes free. Johnson. Catches up with it first. Enzer pokes it for Rolo. Donahue fighting for it along the boards with Rolo. Now McTavish hit there by Robertson. Puck comes free at the blue line for Romeo. Near side, Wiesner return for Romeo. Far side. Bulls have it down low. Dylan Johnson fakes the slap shot. Tried to set up Wiesner. Didn't connect. Birmingham still with the puck. In the Knoxville zone, 40 seconds to go in the power play. Romeo has it. Just inside the blue line. Plays it far side, return for Romeo. Looking for a shooting lane, Romeo does. It's in front, Glover had a chance at it, deflected off of Glover's stick. Right on to Zane Steves. The puck came free, but the whistle blew. And with 5.13 to go here in the second period and another 20 seconds left on the power play for Birmingham, still clinging to a 1-0 lead. And the longer this game goes, I don't like that. Birmingham outplaying Knoxville up and down the ice, out shooting them 29 to eight, and only a one goal lead to show for it. Thanks to Zane Steves, their goaltender. 
Face off to his left. McGregor Sinclair for Birmingham. Levac for Knoxville. Nobody clearly wins. The puck comes free and Knoxville skates away through center ice. Good play there of the Bulls defensively to break it up. Levac has it. Gets a weak one in, easily sticked aside by Stewart. Birmingham's Taylor Briarly has it. We're down to five seconds to go in the power play. Carson Rose skates through center ice. Has McGregor Sinclair with him. Penalty is over with. Rose takes a wrister, gloved by Steves, and he'll hold on for a faceoff. Once again, into the Knoxville zone. 4.49 to go, second period. Bulls won, Knoxville nothing. You're listening to Birmingham Bulls Hockey. It's the classic dilemma at Whataburger. You pick up your patty melt with two fresh all-beef patties, melted Monterey Jack cheese, grilled onions, and creamy pepper sauce, and just when you're about to dig into Whataburger's take on this all-time classic, someone utters the dreaded words. Can I have a bite? Should you? Shouldn't you? Maybe you just take a big bite so you don't have to answer. Good thing that dilemma's over. Good thing there's the patty melt at Whataburger. Back to the Pelham Civic Complex, Jody Chernesky here, 4.49 to go. Second period, Bulls leading by a score of one nothing, out shooting Knoxville 31 to nine. Sometimes shots on goal can be misleading. Sometimes they're not really legitimate. But in this case, every one of those shots, 31, have been on the mark and true. Zane Steves has played a heck of a game. Without him, Birmingham's leading this six nothing, easily. Face off to his left, back to even strength. McGregor Sinclair for Birmingham on the draw. Wins it, back at the point for Peters. Peters tries to get away from the defense of Knoxville. Puck comes free just outside the blue line, played there. McKechnie pokes it into the bull zone, right to Taylor Briarly. Briarly ahead, looking for Larson. He can't catch up with it and goes down. Ice, or excuse me, offside is gonna be the call anyway. Or icing is going to be the call. Larson couldn't catch up with the puck. So the faceoff will come back down into the bull zone. 4.29 to go, second period. Jordan Stallard, Rex Moe, Cameron Huff out up front for Knoxville. Jason Price. And Jordan Popoff on defense. Price has it. Shot taken. High, a weak one, easily gloved and held onto by Hayden Stewart. Even the shots they're taking, every shot's dangerous. Every shot can go in, so a nice save there by Stewart. But that wasn't the hardest slap shot I've ever seen in my life either. Dylan Peters out defensively for Birmingham, along with Taylor Briarly. Drake Glover on the draw, opposite Stalin. Price has it, another wrister. This one goes in and easily once again gloved. That wouldn't have been on net. Stewart stepped out of his net, reached out with that big left mitt and held on to it. We'll have another face off, Stallard and Drake Glover for Birmingham. Now Romeo and Solo come out on defense to relieve Peters and Briarly. Knoxville's lineup stays the same. Off the draw, Glover. It's loose, picked up by the Bulls. That's Kozarev skates away, has Rose with him. That's an, that's an offside call as Rose was shrinking into the play, thinking that Kozarev was gonna hit him through the slot. Kozarev had other ideas and Rose was in ahead of the play offside. Faceoff will be just outside the Knoxville blue line. Glover. Along with now Tyler Rolo for Knoxville. Glover tries to kick it in, can't do it. Seth Enzer picks it up, tries to hit Fletcher off the mark. Icing is gonna be the call. And the faceoff will come deep into the Knoxville zone. 4.01 to go, second period. Bulls need another one. one nothing the score, Birmingham leads. Drake Glover, Tyler Rolo on the draw to the right of Zane Steves. Like a rugby scrum picked up now by Birmingham's Jess Solo. He'll wrap it around the boards. Steves plays it. Far side Solo tries to keep it in. He pinches in from the point. Carson Rose takes his spot, gets it in deep to Glover. 
Glover spins away from the defense. In front, looking for Kozarev. Couldn't find him. Romeo picks the loose puck up. Around the boards, Glover walks off Felder. Takes the puck. A backhand one out in front, looking for Kozarev. Bounces off the defenseman's skate. Birmingham still with the puck, though. Rose turns, spin shot. Hit right on to Steves. Solo pinching in, keeps it alive. Plays around the near side. Ryan Romeo has it. Romeo backhands one for Carson Rose. He'll just backskate it himself into center ice, give it up for Solo, who dumps it right back in. Birmingham wanted a line change. Wiesner, Johnson, and Donahue out for Birmingham. Colatarsi out with Carter defensively as we wait for Knoxville to start the play from behind their own net. Enzer, cross ice pass for Stallard. Through center ice, Stadler will try and skate it in. Does, takes a shot, deflected by Birmingham high off the glass. Chase Carter has it. He sends one through center ice. That could have been easily touched. Knoxville with a smart play there, acted as if they could, trying to reach the puck, didn't. So icing is called on Birmingham. The faceoff will come back in the zone of the Bulls with 2.41 remaining here in the second period of play. Matt Wiesner on the draw for Birmingham. Jordan Stallard, Stallard that is, for Knoxville. Still waiting for the puck to be dropped. It does, Knoxville controls. Alex Basie with a shot blocked in front by Wiesner and he'll skate away. Gives it up far side, Donahue. Donahue takes a shot, blocker save made by Steves. Behind the net it's played. Donahue gives it for Dylan Johnson. Johnson spins, fires one save made by Steves once again. He's seeing the puck very well. And when Birmingham does have traffic out in front, it, for whatever reason, you could call it puck luck if you want to. It's just bouncing the wrong way off of skates and legs in front. 33 to 10, shots on goal favoring Birmingham. 2.22 to go second period. Bulls leading 1-0. Face off in the Knoxville zone. Controlled by the Bulls. Gervais had it. Takes a shot blocked by the defense in front. Peters tries to keep it in for Birmingham. Florent has it. He backhands one, tries to get it out. It went right into the Bulls bench. So a face off will come inside the Knoxville blue line. To the left of goaltender Zane Steves. With just a one nothing lead, that's not a uh, not a lead you like because it just takes one mistake defensively for Birmingham to tie this game and change the whole complexion of it. Right now, Birmingham is controlling every ounce of this game. Peters has it. He takes a shot, hit in front, and it's loose and Claire score! It was either Sinclair or Gervais once again, but the puck was sent in front. It bounced off the midsection of Steves right out into the goal mouth, and I believe Gervais is going to get his second of the night and fifth of the year. That's a big goal, folks. A two-goal lead is the most dangerous lead in hockey unless you're leading by one. Let me put it that way. Now we need a third. Gervais did poke it free. It was loose in the, in the goal mouth. Gervais poked it in for his fifth goal of the year, second of the night. One away from a natural hat trick. Gervais is quickly becoming Birmingham's best player. Stewart plays it for Romeo. Backhands one off the boards, kept in by Knoxville, steered aside by Stewart. Now Stallard plays it for Moe. He can't control it. Imagine that. Around the boards, it's played. McTavish sends it up. He finds Gervais. Gervais poked away by Enzer. He had a chance of a clear breakaway. Now the puck is sent to the length of the ice. Mo giving chase along with Romeo. Romeo catches up with it first, and he'll lift one to center ice. Rose gives it for McTavish. Got back for Rose. Blocker save. Rebound off the post. Score! Flying up and down the ice. All Knoxville can do is just try and ice the puck 
McGregor Sinclair gets the goal. And what a nice bit of stick work and skating that was. That's McGregor Sinclair. His first goal of the year. He played for three games here in Birmingham last year. Played very well. But Birmingham's roster was set. I'm glad to see him back. Sinclair on the goal. Two by Gervais, one by Sinclair. Birmingham, 3-0 with a minute 10 to go, second period. In the Knoxville zone, once again, the puck is. Birmingham's Glover backhands one for Kozarev. Kozarev thought about walking out in front. He skates far side with it. Banks went off the board for Glover, looking for a deflection in front. Rose has it. Behind the net is played for Kozarev. Birmingham buzzing. Rose has it in front. Save May Steves, and he puts that mitt on it and covers up. Three goals by Birmingham tonight, two by Gervais, one by McGregor Sinclair, two here in the second period. 48 seconds to go, Birmingham three, Knoxville nothing. I've seen no way, I'm not, I won't say it. Three goal lead in this hockey game is a big lead though for Birmingham. Face off in the Knoxville zone, Wiesner. On the draw, opposite Rolo, Wiesner wins it. Peters will try and send it around. Wiesner takes the puck. Now Dylan Johnson had it knocked away from him by Florent. Rolo had it. Johnson takes it away from him. Gives it up. That's Donahue out in front, sends it. Nobody home for Birmingham, and the puck clears the zone. 30 seconds remaining. Second period. Bulls three. Knoxville nothing. Dylan Peters off the stick of Dylan Johnson. Out of play, we'll have a face off. Now, if you want to historically think of what is going through the minds of the Knoxville Ice Bears, we'll think of last night. Birmingham took a four nothing lead into the locker room at the end of the second period. About 10 minutes into the third when it was apparent Knoxville wasn't gonna come close to scoring, that's when the crazy stuff started. Let's see what happens the rest of the night here. Stallard has it poked away from him. Penalty coming up on Carson Rose as his stick did get under the skates of Stallard as Peters touches up. 10 seconds to go here in the second period. Carson Rose is gonna get the gate for tripping. And Knoxville will have their third power play of the night. Unless Knoxville scores in the 10 seconds remaining in this period, the remaining minute 50 will spill over into the third period of play. Birmingham did score a shorthanded goal last night in Knoxville. We'll see what happens tonight as the faceoff is deep into the bull zone to the right of Hayden Stewart. Stallard and McTavish, puck comes free. Fletcher had it bounce over his stick and clear by McTavish. Down to the length of the ice, five seconds remaining. Florent takes it away from Glover, and that's going to do it for the second period of play. And a good second period of play it was. Bulls get two goals there in the second to increase their lead to 3 0. Out shooting Knoxville 36 to 10 through two periods of play. This is Knoxville's fourth game of the year. They've scored three goals. They almost have as many suspensions as they do goals. Birmingham three, Knoxville nothing. Stay with us, you're listening to Birmingham Bulls Hockey. This is a shout out to the professional tailgaters, game day grillers, and potluck pros. Whether you bake it, smoke it, stack it, or melt it, there's nothing more important than how you cook up your team spirit while serving it with an ice cold Coca-Cola, Coke Zero Sugar, or Coke Light. We may not all agree on the best game day food, but when you serve your meals with a Coke, you know you've got yourself a winner. Enjoy an ice cold Coca-Cola at the Birmingham Bulls game. Coca-Cola, taste the feeling. You are the barbecue boss, the sultan of spatula. And upon the first bite of Whataburger's barbecue bacon burger, you think, hey, I could make this. Your barbecue sauce might not be as smoky, and you probably wouldn't put both smoked cheddar and Monterey Jack on it. And you... Wait, is that... bacon? 
Good thing there's room for more than one poobah of the pit. Good thing there's the limited-time barbecue bacon burger at Whataburger. Okay, Jody Chernesky back here at the Pelham Civic Complex where after two periods of play, the Birmingham Bulls may have solved the Zane Steves problem in net for the Knoxville Ice Bears. He's had a whale of a two games against Birmingham. He came into the game last night in the third period, only gave up one goal to Dylan Johnson tonight. He's had to stand on his head just to keep Knoxville in this hockey game. And I'm not exaggerating, folks. 36 to 10 shots on goal in favor of Birmingham. This game could very easily be six or seven to nothing right now. Of those 10 shots on goal for Knoxville, I counted three, if not four, that were just simple dump ins that went right in on Stewart that count as shots on goal. So realistically, scoring chances for Knoxville, maybe one, maybe two but definitely not more than that. Anything can happen, 20 minutes of hockey remaining in the third period of play. As you can tell, I'm not a fan of the Knoxville Ice Bears, and I don't apologize for that after the things I've seen them do, not only this year, but last year as well. Birmingham three, Knoxville nothing. Stay with us, third period coming up. You're listening to Birmingham Bulls Hockey.
Welcome back to the Pelham City Complex. Jody Cherneski here as we begin to start the third period of play. The Birmingham Bulls leading Knoxville by a score of three nothing. Knoxville does, however, start the third period on a power play as Carson Rose was sent to the box with 10 seconds to go in the second on a tripping call. So a minute 50 to go in the power play for Knoxville. Around the league tonight, Fayetteville defeated Macon 4-3. Huntsville and Pensacola are tied at two as they begin the third period of play. And in the third period of play, Quad City leads Roanoke by a score of one nothing. Okay, we're about to go here. Drake Glover, McTavish. Along with Taylor Briley. And Dylan Peters to kill the penalty for Birmingham. Cameron Huff, Jordan Stallard, Jason Price, Brady Florent on the power play for Huntsville. Both teams 0-4 tonight on the power play. This is Hunts, or excuse me, Knoxville's fourth power play. 0 for 3 so far. Off the draw, Birmingham controls. Taylor Briley pressured by Huff. Banks went off the glass and down the ice. Back to pick it up there. From Steves is Jason Price. Waste no time, he'll skate away. Gives it up for Florent. Florent through center ice. Taps one in off the stick of Briley. Dylan Peters, first one to tap it for Birmingham off the boards, but not out. Kept in by Knoxville. Price has it. Sends it down low. A centering pass in front. Rex Mill had it on a stick. Couldn't get the shot off. Price. Down low for Stellar. Pad save. Puck trickles wide of Stewart. Knoxville putting the first pressure of the night on. On this power play, Jason Price inside the blue line for Stallard, tries to set one up, intercepted by the Bulls, and they clear the ice. McTavish with the clear, picked up by Jason Price. A minute to go in the power play for Knoxville, tried to set it up for Florent, can't do it. Now Wiesner loses his edge in front for Florent, off the stick there of Yates, he'll keep it alive for Knoxville. Fletcher, he loses it for Wiesner. Birmingham hurries two on one as McGregor Sinclair goes with him. Wiesner has a shot save made by Steves. He lost it, didn't know where the rebound was. Solo sends it around the boards. Price picks it up. We're down to 30 seconds to go in the power play for Knoxville. Nice play, Yates taken out of the boards there by Ryan Romeo on a big hip check. Now it's along the boards, Fletcher. Gets away from Gervais, but Gervais pokes it away from him. Nice backhand pass, touched over. Short-handed shot, Johnson save made by Steves. In front, Gervais had a whack at it. That was knocked off the play by Rolo, and the puck clears the zone. Birmingham, down to three seconds, will clear and kill this penalty as Colatarsi sends one down. And Birmingham rose back on the ice. We're back at even strength. 18 minutes to go, third period, Bulls three, Knoxville nothing. Sent in on Steves, who gloves it, drops it, leaves it there for Basie. Around the boards, Glover paints it. Cole Tarsi takes a shot, steered aside by Steves. Now in front, it's banked away. There's Wiesner. Excuse me, Rose has it, now it's back. That's Kozarev with the puck. Kozarev near boards, nifty stick work. Drops it back for Rose behind the net. Ends are on him, Rose walks away with it. Tries to give it up for Glover. Rose goes down, loose puck underneath. They'll try and poke it away from Rose. It finally comes free, Hensler does. Now it's taken there by Drake Glover. Rose has it. Far side, tried to set it up for Cole Tarsi, away from him, but he gains control. Now Carter gives it for Carson Rose. In the slot, backhand, Kozarev never made it through. Cole Tarsi follows up, save made by Steves. He was falling around on the ice, couldn't find it. Birmingham with control, played by Glover behind the net. Has Donahue in front, banks it for Kola Tarsi. Kola Tarsi sends one off the leg of Seth Enzer and Knoxville just wants to clear the zone and kill the pressure. Birmingham tries to turn it right back in. Loose at center ice, put into the Knoxville zone where Jason Price picks it up. Price sends it ahead for Rolo. He skates away from one man, gives it up for Rex Moe, takes a hit from Larson, banks it around the boards. Knoxville tries to keep it in. Donahue there tried to poke it away and does. Popov has it for Knoxville now. Larson on him, he'll give it up for Jason Price. Back for Popov. 
Puff Hop sends one into Bulls on around the boards. Peters and Donahue giving chase, kept alive. Jason Price slap shot off the Bulls defense. Now loose puck in front. That was Rolo, had a shot at it. Peters blocks it. And the puck is played far boards by Donahue. Knoxville actually putting some pressure on. Early on here in the third period, Birmingham's Dylan Peters behind his own net as Knoxville and Birmingham change on the fly. Dylan Peters will wait on reinforcements. Gervais out, Romeo as well. McGregor Sinclair for Birmingham. Romeo will start the play. He's calling for help. McGregor Sinclair, Gervais and Solo back. McTavish at center ice waiting. Now Solo sends it ahead. That's McGregor Sinclair had it bounce off his stick into the corner. Played there by Felder. Knoxville's Fletcher gets it and sends it to center ice. Romeo back in his own zone to pick it up. Sends it to center ice. Look out. Here comes McGregor Sinclair. Has Gervais with him. Sinclair hit hard by Fletcher. And that was a good clean hit, but Sinclair felt that one slow to get up. Now in front played McTavish and escape. He tried a backhander, but Steves gets the pad on it. Keeps it out of the net. Glover. He loses it. Fletcher has it after that big hit. Look out, Fletcher coming in. Fletcher a shot blocker save made by Stewart. Big save by Stewart as Jervais clears the zone. Now penalties coming up. We're gonna have an interference call, I believe, on Birmingham's Ryan Romeo. We'll wait and see what the call is. As Fletcher got behind the Bulls defense. Was in free, clear on Stewart. Got a good shot off. Blocker save made by Stewart. Now Stewart, as we wait for the penalty to be called, I believe it will be on Romeo for interference. Rose and the official, Sean Hawk, discussing it as Romeo will be sent to the penalty box. It will be the fifth power play of the night for Knoxville. They're 0 for 4 so far. At four, with 14.49 remaining here in the third period of play, Bulls leading three to nothing, out shooting Knoxville now, 41 to 13. Even with four power plays for Knoxville, 13 shots on goal. As we have our first media timeout of the third period, both goalies going back into their nets. I'm very impressed with Knoxville's Zane Steves. He played in this league last year with Evansville, and he was a very good goalie then. I was surprised to see him land on Knoxville, but he's earning every bit of his paycheck, whatever it is that they're paying him. Very good goaltending on Knoxville, both goalies. Stead and Steves, excellent goaltenders. Face off in the bull zone to start this power play for Knoxville. Loose at their skates. Glover breaks it free into the corner. Rex Moe kicks it away from Peters. Now Huff takes it behind the net. He backhands one out to the blue line for Florent for Jason Price. He turns, spins, blocked by Peters, and he clears. Good play by Dylan Peters. Stopped the shot from getting in on Stewart. He controlled it and cleared the puck. Now Price has it. Gives it up for Florent through center ice. Has Rolo with him. Florent still with the puck. Takes a shot. Goes wide and out of the zone. Price plays it for Knoxville. For Rolo. You're going to see a lot of Rolo, Florent, and Huff here because this is about all they've got. Huff has the puck, brings it into the Bulls zone. Gives it up for Price. For Rolo, he's poked away by Briley. Loose puck there at the skate of Rex Moe. Florent has it. He turns and fires. Now Huff will give chase. Cameron Huff with the puck. Hammered by Briley. Near side, Price. Knoxville setting the power play up. Now Price in front, deflected, save made, rebound, loose, still loose in front. There's Roller with a shot blocked by the Bulls defense. Price has it. He takes a shot, save made by Stewart, still loose, and he'll cover up for the faceoff. That by far over the last two games is the best hunt Knoxville flurry and a chance at a goal that they've had. That one right there almost paid off. Stewart was right there on the spot though. And when he had the chance, pounced on it and covered up for the faceoff. Birmingham fortunate that one did not get in. 47 seconds remaining on the power play. On the interference called by Ryan Romeo, or on Ryan Romeo, 13.35 to go, third period. Faceoff in the Bulls zone. 
Rolo and McGregor, Sinclair, puck controlled by the Bulls, sends it behind the net. Rex Moe kicks it free, out in front, there's Rolo. Net almost knocked off his morning, but look out, here comes Gervais. Gervais with the puck, tries to get around the defense of Knoxville, can't do it. McGregor Sinclair there with it. Rolo takes it away from Sinclair, Rex Moe has it. Drives it back for Price. Ahead for Florent, Rose on him. Skates away from Rose. Brady Florent stops at the blue line. We're down to 15 seconds left on the power play. Birmingham clears. Glover has it, far side. Three Knoxville players back defensively. Glover drops it down low. Bulls shorthanded with a puck in the Knoxville zone. Now Price has it, one second, that's it. Ryan Romeo back on the ice and Birmingham has killed the fifth penalty of the night. Glover along the near boards fights for it. Puck comes free, poked around by Kozarev. Glover has it behind the net. Red Brown save, rebound, Kozarev right in front. Knocked it right into Steves and he coolly holds on to it for the faceoff. Kozarev did everything he could there but score. I like what I see from Nikita Kozarev. Excellent with the stick, even with the puck on a stick. Excellent pass as he seems to be in the right place at the right time. It'll get there, it'll pay off. 12.34 to go, third period. Bulls with the three nothing lead and the face off in the Knoxville zone. Off the draw at the skates of Wiesner. Taken there by Dylan Johnson. Tries to get around Fletcher, centered it in front. Rex Moe had a bounce off his stick. Johnson with a backhand goes wide. Now it's clear by McKechnie. Dylan Peters has it for Birmingham. He'll send it right back in. Near side play off the boards. Donahue has it. Back for Briley, tries to get around the defense of McKechnie, does. He'll skate around behind the net. Taylor Briley still with the puck, back at the point. Now Wiesner has it. He sends a wrister blocked in front, actually hit Dylan Johnson, and Knoxville clears the zone. Wiesner almost had it taken away from him. Puck comes free and loose. Taylor Briley will pick it up for the Bulls. He drops it back behind the net for Dylan Peters. McTavish and Gervais along with Larson out for Birmingham. Peters has to circle away from Rolo, lost the puck. Robertson at center ice had it bounce off of another player stick. Rolo picks it up for Knoxville. Ahead for Florent, he's hit on the play. Loose puck picked up by the Bulls and they clear. Now it's loose at the Bulls blue line. Florent almost had it. Larson picks it up for Birmingham. Can't get around Rolo but it's picked up there by the Bulls. McTavish has your way with him. McTavish a shot, Black blocker save made by Steve. Pad save there, now another shot, this one by Larson right again into the midsection of Steve, Steve's that is. And he holds it again for the faceoff. That's Birmingham's 45th shot on goal. They've only broken Zane Steve's three times, three nothing, the Bulls lead. I'll give Knoxville credit, they came out in the third period playing hockey, not playing Neanderthal goon hockey. It's been a very good entertaining third period to play. Birmingham's Rose had it, lost it to Enzer, who gives it up, back comes Levesque. Levesque gives it up, near far side shot, steered aside easily by Stewart. Puck loose along the near boards. In the bull zone, picked up by Chase Carter, he lost it, comes right out in front of Stewart. Knoxville's Levesque had a chance at it, but it's poked away from him. Carter has it. Chase Carter through center ice. Sends one in, avoids the check of Enzer. Played there by Steves behind the net. Knoxville will set up shop. Enzer has it near side. Long pass ahead for Levesque, ahead for McKinney into the bull zone. Dawson McKinney sends one around in front of Stewart, steered aside. Wiesner picks it up. Off the stick of Rex Moe, Knoxville will play it in their own zone. 10 minutes to go, third period, Bulls three, Knoxville nothing. Jason Price behind his own net. Slowly steps out, gives it up for Felder. Bounced off his stick, Stowler almost lost it, sends it back for Price. Right back through center ice to Rex Moe, who'll backhand one deep into the Bulls zone. Giving chase to Stowler, but the Bulls catch up with it first. Gervais, a nifty backhand pass. Back comes Birmingham. 
McTavish with Wiesner. McTavish tries to cut around. Price does. Puck comes through the crease. Nobody was there to tip it in. Now, big hit by Rex Moe on Solo. Bulls trying to keep the puck alive. Can't do it. McKechnie comes free for Knoxville. Return pass for McKechnie. Now Solo takes him down. Physical play beginning to pick up here late in the third. 9.20 to go. As Carson Rose has the puck in. The Knoxville don't save made as he a rebound in front. Sinclair can't get it past Zane Steves. The speed of Birmingham is just too much for the Knoxville defense. Now in front, Rose was there, couldn't get a shot off. Has the puck, though. Far face off circle in front. Coza around the flacted save made by Steves. Now wait a minute, they're saying it's a goal. That's a Kozarev goal if it counts. Steves is saying, no way, no way. He's shaking his head, no. I thought he made the save. I really did. But the goal light came on and the referee was right there. Sean Hobbs signal goal. And that, if it counts, if they still let it stand, will be Nikita Kozarev's first goal as a Birmingham Bull. And they're calling it a goal. Birmingham now leading 4 0 as Nikita Kozarev, the rookie from Estonia, picks up his first goal of the season. Cameron Huff is hot, and he may have a reason. As they look at the replay on the scoreboard, he's begging the officials to look. They can't do it. You can't change the call. Zane Steves is still saying no way, and he may be right, folks. As a matter of fact, I think he is, but we'll take it. We need it. 4 nothing is the lead now for Birmingham. As Kozarev picks up his first goal of the year, we'll see what that does to the demeanor, though, of this Knoxville Ice Bears team. Back to play, eight and a half to go. Knoxville clears their own zone. Through center ice, Florin has it. For Cameron Huff, backhands one into the Bulls zone. Dylan Peters plays it for Birmingham. Briarly, ahead for Kozarev. Kozarev avoids the check by Florin. Gives it up for Huff, now he's hauled down. There's gonna be a penalty there. And you saw that one coming because of the the goal that was, the goal that wasn't, Dylan Peters pulls down Huff. And Knoxville will go right back on the power play. We'll have immediate timeout. This is gonna be a very entertaining last eight and a half minutes of this hockey game, folks. I have a feeling Knoxville is not a happy bunch of campers right now after that goal that was, that wasn't, whatever you wanna call it. We'll take our last break. 8.21 to go, third period. You're listening to Birmingham Bulls Hockey. This is a shout out to the professional tailgaters, game day grillers, and potluck pros. Whether you bake it, smoke it, stack it, or melt it, there's nothing more important than how you cook up your team spirit while serving it with an ice cold Coca-Cola, Coke Zero Sugar, or Coke Light. We may not all agree on the best game day food, but when you serve your meals with a Coke, you know you've got yourself a winner. Enjoy an ice cold Coca-Cola at the Birmingham Bulls game. Coca-Cola, taste the feeling. Dylan Peters gets the call for hooking. Two minutes for hooking at 11.39 of the third period. Zane Steves is given the business by the Bulls fans, but I'm gonna be honest, he's got a case. I don't think that was a goal. They reward it his first of the year to Nikita Kozarev, but I don't think it went in. We don't have the benefit of the instant replay that the NHL does. But I didn't think it went in from the start. Now the shot taken from the point right in on Stewart on this power play for Knoxville. He makes the save and holds on. He'll have a face off again. He likes this, the chances his centers have on the face offs. So every shot that comes in on Stewart, he's gonna hold it. He's not gonna play it. Tyler Rolo for Knoxville. They'll toss Birmingham. Wiesner will have to come in in place of McTavish. Matt Wiesner, Tyler Rolo, puck is dropped. Back for Huff. He'll poke it for Price. Return. Cameron Huff has it for Tyler Rolo. Down low is played. Rex Moe tries a centering pass, goes through the crease. 
Florin had it, gives it up off the boards. McTavish takes it and skates away for Birmingham. Into the Knoxville zone. Puts the brakes on, far boards. He'll try and kill a little time there. Huff there, along with Florent, pokes free. Jason Price will take it behind his own net for Knoxville. Steps out in front and back. We come the other way with Knoxville. Ahead for Huff. Sends one into the near corner. Picked up by Birmingham and sent the length of the ice where Steves has to play it. Almost lost it. We're down to a minute to go in the power play for Knoxville. Seven and a half to go third period. Colton Fletcher tries to skate around Carson Rose and does. Brings it into the bull zone. Maintains control of the puck. Fletcher, top of the faceoff circle. Walks in, Rose on him. Fletcher has it taken away by Rose and he clears. Good play, Carson Rose. Out of his net, Steves. Leaves it for Greg Felder. We're down to 40 seconds to go in the power play for Knoxville. Back the other way come the Ice Bears. Levac tries to get it deep, can't do it easily. Birmingham's Kolatarsi there clears it. Steve clears it himself to center ice. Look out. Here we go. Gervais on a breakaway. Gervais comes in. Steve made by Steve's. The hat trick will have to wait for Gervais. He had a golden opportunity there, but Steve's answered the call. 12 seconds to go on the power play. Here we go again. Gervais trying to break free. Sinclair has it. Gives it to Gervais. Score! Keyshawn Gervais with a hat trick as the hats fly onto the ice. I'm telling you, this guy is going to become a legend here in this town if he stays healthy. He's exciting to watch. He's fun. He's energetic. He's young. He's a rookie. He doesn't back down from anybody. He's a hockey player that you've got to love to watch. Keyshawn Gervais is third of the night. His sixth of the year. Six goals for the young rookie. He leads the rookies by far and now leads the entire SBHL in goals. And Gervais has a story to tell on how he got to Birmingham. At 12 years old, his grandfather, who was raising him on a reservation, a native reservation in northern Saskatchewan, did not like what he saw was happening at this reservation that they lived on. There was no future there for his grandson. At 12 years old, he sent Keyshawn Gervais away to Western Canada to see if he could possibly find a way to play hockey. Not only did he, he played for a very good Western Hockey League team, the highest level of junior hockey in Canada in the Portland Winterhawks. In his first season here, he's six goals into this, four games into the season. Keyshawn Gervais is well on his way to having one heck of a Bulls career. Loose puck picked up at the Knoxville blue line. They just clear, Wiesner has it. Sends it the other way, deflected. Riley Robertson has it, Donnie Hugh on him. Birmingham is not taking the pressure off. Now Wiesner sends it in, lowest shot taken, save made by Steves. As Birmingham still putting the pressure on. Dylan Johnson had an opportunity, but Steves answers the call. 48 shots on goal for the Birmingham Bulls. Five nothing they lead. Same way, or the same margin of victory as they did last night in Knoxville, lead tonight 5-0. Face off in the Knoxville zone. Matt Wiesner for Birmingham. Loses it as Popoff had it bounce off his stick solo, pinches in from the point, keeps it alive, but it's right on the stick of Jason Price, who'll send it out for Fleurin. Off his stick, Jeff Solo for Birmingham, banks it off the boards and clears. Wiesner picks it up for the Bulls, brings it in the Knoxville zone, pop off on him. Wiesner tries to cut around him, can't pop off with a good defensive play, cuts him off. But Birmingham picks the loose puck up. Florent takes it away, far boards. Good play there by Buster Larson, keeps it alive. From Moho, Sweden, Buster Larson for the Birmingham Bulls. Now Jeff Solo has it in the Bulls zone. Look out, that's the giveaway I was talking about you can't make. Solo picks it up though, and the Bulls clear. 
Now Huff takes it away and he just fires one back into the bull zone. Knoxville, I think, has done everything they could to score and only have 19 shots on goal to show for it. That's five more than they had last night. Gervais out in front for Larson. It bounced over his stick. He couldn't get the shot. Back comes Fletcher for Knoxville into the bull zone. Carter, a good play, stands him up and knocks him down. Oh, I love to see that. Seth Enzer sends one in and it's gonna be offside as Knoxville touches up. Big hit there by Chase Carter. He caught him unsuspectedly and put him right down on the ice. Okay, we'll take a break, 4.39 to go. Third period, Birmingham five. Knoxville nothing. You're listening to Birmingham Bulls Hockey. This is a shout out to the professional tailgaters, game day grillers, and potluck pros. Whether you bake it, smoke it, stack it, or melt it, there's nothing more important than how you cook up your team spirit while serving it with an ice cold Coca-Cola, Coke Zero Sugar, or Coke Light. We may not all agree on the best game day food, but when you serve your meals with a Coke, you know you've got yourself a winner. Enjoy an ice cold Coca-Cola at the Birmingham Bulls game. Coca-Cola, taste the feeling. All right, Jody Chernesky back at the Pelham Civic Complex. This one looks like it's well in hand for Birmingham. The only question remains, will Hayden Stewart get a second shutout in consecutive games? Five nothing, the Bulls lead. 4.39 to go here in the third period. It's been all Birmingham. And yet, if not for Zane Steves, the goaltender for Knoxville, this game is eight or nine to nothing. That's how lopsided it has been. Face off outside the Bulls' blue line. Controlled by Knoxville. Felder has it. He tries to set it up at center ice. It bounces off several players, and back comes Chase Carter to pick it up for Birmingham for Cola Tarsi return for Carter. And Carson Rose clears the zone. Intercepted by Enser. He's hit on the play, but still manages to poke it in deep. Played by Stewart around the boards for Rose. He kicks it free. Kozarev has it inside the Knoxville blue line. All Knoxville players back. Kozarev was by himself. He has to come back and wait on help. Drops it for Briarley. Down low, it's played. Rose has it in front. Gets by everybody at the point. Dylan Peters has it. Far side, Kozarev down low for Glover. Kozarev takes the shot wide. Glover has it. Wrap around. Didn't get through, and Knoxville will clear. Rowe has it for the Ice Bears, and he'll tip one deep. Dylan Peters gives it up for Taylor Briarley, who takes it up for Drake Glover. Lifts one into center ice, where it's picked up by Robertson. Riley Robertson loses it. Here comes Donahue, takes a shot, save, made rebound, loose it, front score! I believe Dylan Johnson got his stick on the puck on the rebound. Steve, Dane Steve made the first save. He can't do anything more. His defense is responsible for clearing the rebound. They let the puck lay there, and the quickness of the Bulls pounced on the puck, and it's 6-0 Birmingham. We'll wait for the call. I'm pretty sure it's going to be Dylan Johnson. It is. Donahue and Glover on the assist. Glover with it, or excuse me, Johnson with his third goal of the season gives the Bulls a 6 0 lead. Three nineteen to go. You kind of feel sorry for both goaltenders for Knoxville. I do. And if Greg Drevney was here, he'd tell you exactly what's going through their minds. They have no help. If you give up two goals, and if you're Knoxville's goaltender, you pretty much the game's over. Steves plays it. Birmingham keeps it alive. Gloved by Steves as the shot was taken far side. With three minutes to go here in the third period. 51 shots on goal for the Birmingham Bulls. 18 for Knoxville. Face off to the left of Steves in the Ice Bears zone. Controlled by the Bulls. That's Romeo, plays it around the boards past McTavish, but he tries to poke it for Gervais. 
Taken away by Jason Price. Ahead for Huff for Flurrent. He's knocked down on the play. Loose puck at center ice. Price will pick it up and send it in deep. Near corner. Birmingham just so much quicker. It's like they're... The life has been taken out of one team and given to the other. Now in front, Huff, save made as he got a loose puck, took the shot in the slot. Stewart made the save. Now Gervais has it for Birmingham, wraps one off the glass and out into center ice. Knoxville tips one back into the bull zone. Line change for the Ice Bears. McTavish has it far boards. He spins, fires one off the boards into center ice. Felder has it, he'll give it right back. Here comes Tyler Rolo. Rolo has it, poke checked away from him. Just out of the reach of Dylan Johnson, South Enzer has it now for Knoxville. Far side pass out of the reach of everyone. Kola Tarsi gives it up for Kozarev. Nice nifty pass, shot taken, save made. Pad save made in front, Dylan Johnson had a shot. Now Kola Tarsi fakes the slap shot, gives it for Johnson. Behind the net, it's play for Seth Enzer. We're down to a minute 40 to go here. In the third period of play, Birmingham six, Knoxville nothing. Colatarsi has it at center ice. Gervais tips it in. Felder back defensively, loses it to Gervais. Centering pass, nobody home for Birmingham, but it's still in the zone, picked up by Fletcher. Out of the reach of Rex Moe, he couldn't get it. And icing will be the call. Moe just, he's winded. That's all there is to it. He's doubled over right now. He could not catch up with the puck. So the faceoff will come back into the Knoxville zone with a minute 19 to go here in the third period of play. Birmingham has dominated, if you ask me, two straight games, but especially here tonight. Six nothing, the score in the Knoxville is lucky it's not more. Off the draw. Tyler Rowe takes it, wraps it off the glass. Icing's gonna be the call again. Knoxville has had it. They're not even trying to clear the zone on an offensive rush. They just want to get the puck out of their own defensive zone. It's going to be a long bus ride back to Knoxville, Tennessee tonight for these guys. Couldn't happen to a nicer team. Face off to the right of Steves. Great Glover for Birmingham. Fletcher for Knoxville. Steves plays it. Gervais has it in front. Nice backhand pass. Glover couldn't get all of it. Now Rose walks out in front, backhander blocker save made by Steve. It is a shooting gallery, folks. Fletcher has it. He'll try to get away from Rose. Fletcher circles. Rose tried to, or excuse me, he tried to set up for Rex Moe. He couldn't even move his stick on the ice. He's so tired. Wiesner plays it behind the net for Taylor Bryler. We're under a minute to go. Bulls try and clear the zone. We just need to preserve the shutout for Stewart. Here comes Taylor Bryler through center ice. Gets it past Levesque. Steves plays it behind his own net for Tyler Popoff, or excuse me, Jordan Popoff. Jason Price has it now. We're down to 20 seconds to go. Price, not even in a hurry. Sends it up for Levesque, taken away from him for Wiesner. Wiesner drops it back for Donnie, who gives it up to Johnson, and that's down to 10 seconds to go as it's deep into the Knoxville zone. Played there by Wiesner and Donnie, who comes free for Wiesner in front. Kolatarsi had a whack at it, didn't get through. Bodies fly, but that's it. Steves didn't even think anybody, he didn't touch anybody. As soon as the horn blew, he got out of his crease and he's gone to the bench. He's had it, and I don't blame him. 55, maybe that last one would count, would be 56 shots on goal for Birmingham. 19 for Knoxville. Birmingham with their second consecutive win evens their record on the year at two and two. Second consecutive shutout as well. Six nothing here tonight, five nothing last night in, Nash or in Knoxville. This one was never in any doubt. At one nothing, it was a precarious lead, but one you felt like they, wasn't, they weren't going to give up. They're just that much better, period. Two consecutive shutouts is hard to do. But when you have no firepower, as Knoxville does not, trust me, they don't, then shutouts may come easily. Fourth game of the year for Knoxville, three goals. They're averaging less than one goal a game. And I couldn't be happier. Birmingham six, 
Knoxville nothing. Birmingham will be on the road next week in Huntsville, trying to avenge the loss we had here on opening night, two to one, for a game on the third and the fourth. Should be fun hockey. Okay, that's gonna do it here tonight from the Pelham Civic Complex. Birmingham evens their record at two and two, taking a six nothing win from the Knoxville Ice Bears. Jody Cherneski here signing off. Thank you for joining us, everybody. 2,851, the attendance tonight, and all enjoyed a good hockey game. Gervais with a couple of goals in a fight, and Birmingham has a new hockey player that they love. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Once again, final score, Birmingham 6, Knoxville nothing. You've been listening to Birmingham Bulls Hockey.